It's a tankless job, but someone's got to do it. Okay, this is a Chronomite instant flow water heater. I don't, I don't think you could see it that well on the camera, but it's 208 volts, 4,160 watts, and 20 amps. Model number SR20L-208. So some uh, plumber I know gave this to me to play with. Uh, he said it's not working as of now. Usually uh, the couple units we've come across that don't work, they're usually clogged with the hard water we have in the area. I'm going to try to take this apart. If you flip it over on the back, there's four screws on each corner. Just needs a flat blade to remove. Back off what one of these looks like inside. This is where the cold water goes in. It flows through here. Here you see the connection for the heating element. And then the hot water flows out of here. Now on the way through the unit, there's a little switch that it goes through. It causes this rod to go up and it hits that micro switch right there. And in this unit, it energizes these two relays, and that allows power to flow to the heating elements. Let's see what's inside the heat exchanger. There's one, two, three more screws to remove to get to it. I guess this is all there is to it. Water inlet. Heating element. I'm kind of curious as to what's inside this unit. It seems like there's just a couple Torx screws I have to take off to access the innards. Let's see. Let me go get my uh, Torx set. Well, it looks like I might have to remove that ground wire there, too. I'll get to that. Yep, I have to undo that ground wire there. Let me uh, find a pair of needle nose pliers or some sort of wrench for it. Okay, I had to get some more tools, but I got the end off, and the first thing I was surprised to see was this bare coil running through where the water goes. Hmm. I thought it'd be somewhat insulated like a normal electric water heater element, but you could actually see it's just a coil of wire. I'm going to try to see if I could get the other end off it's where the power connection for the heating element goes.
Okay, I have to get this nut and washer off this part. But I guess you could just like the coils just wrapped around the threads right there. I think if I could pry it off, I might be able to get the other side out. Well, I guess this is the heating coil for the unit. I'm actually surprised, like I said earlier, to actually see bare heating coils in the water with current flowing through them. This little thing also popped out with it. So here's the rest of the unit. It just looks like this. Let's see. Water flows in there. I guess it just goes around and goes through and then comes back out here. see how the switching mechanism works. Well the switch mechanism pretty much is nothing more than just a rubber diaphragm and two holes in the housing and it just works on a pressure balance principle. So that's all there is to that switch. This rod is what clicks the micro switch on and off earlier.